Well, good evening, Tri States, and happy Sunday evening to you. We're taking a look at the Sleep Tight Sky Cam here at 36 and Broadway in Quincy. And you probably can't see it on the monitor, but there is a little bit of sprinkle going on out there. I don't want to call it rain because, well, it's not really rain. It's more just kind of a, a drizzle or a sprinkle, as some might call it. It's kind of heading over the Tri States right now. And I don't think it's going to last, unfortunately, too long. A little disappointed about that. I do love the rain. When we take a look at the graphics, we're seeing some cooler temperatures across the nation. We've got Des Moines at 50. We've got St. Louis at 59, so kind of a little bit of a jump. But Minneapolis experiencing those cooler temperatures at 38. Kansas City at 57. And Springfield down south in Missouri at 51. So overall, very cool temperatures. When we take a look at current temperatures for the tri-states, you've got Macomb at 60, Quincy sitting at 59, and down south, Hannibal at 61, Pittsfield at 60, and we've got Fort Madison at 59, and Keokuk City at 57. So, not as cool as probably it could be. We are going to be seeing cooler temperatures this evening as far as your evening temperatures, so don't get too comfortable with these temperatures. You can see that we do have some rain kind of coming over Illinois right now, kind of passing through Chicago, sweeping on up into Michigan, and well, they're going to be getting the rain, and we won't be. We're going to be seeing a little bit of sprinkle tonight, though. So, that's that sprinkle we're kind of talking about. It's kind of drifting right over the tri states, kind of going through Ottumwa and passing on through Peoria and Davenport. You can see that we do kind of have some passing kind of through Quincy currently, and that's where you're going to get that little sprinkle. But it's not going to be anything to kind of, you know, call home about by any means. Just a little bit of a sprinkle. For your Quincy tonight, you've got a low of 41 and a mostly cloudy sky with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So, starting to get to those lower temperatures. Here's something interesting, though. Compared to the high that we had for Sunday, which was 71. You're looking at your Quincy high for tomorrow, which is 51. So that's a 20 degree change in temperature. So if today you thought it was a beautiful day, well, I hope you took advantage of it because it was a beautiful day and tomorrow's going to be nice, but you're going to definitely need that jacket for today. Mostly sunny sky and cool with northwest winds out of, um, excuse me, northwest winds from 10 to 15 miles per hour. When we took a look at your seven day forecast brought to you by Illinois Signal. You can see you've got some cooler temperatures for the evenings. So cool, in fact, that for Thursday, we're already looking into the 20s. Granted, it's only 29, but it is still in the 20s, and that's something to call home about because I think that is cool. And for the rest of the week, you can see we've got some rain chances around 60% for your Tuesday. But other than that, I think it's going to be a beautiful week. You've got some nice fall temperatures, Jeff, but overall, I'm not... A I'm not too excited about it because I, I think we were just so spoiled with today with how warm it was. Oh, That's man. very true, huh? It's going it to be hard to adjust anyway. Spoiled is the perfect word for it because it was a beautiful day out there. However, oh, we're ready for fall. It's ah, coming. Yes, very we so. all got to be ready. And I know all the athletes out there are ready for it, especially the football players. We'll give you a look at how the NFL was looking today after the break.